I thought uh, defensively we played outstanding. We played complimentary football. Conditions weren't great out there, but uh, I think we uh, did a good job besides on the punt team taking care of the football. And uh, we wanted to, uh, the whole uh, idea of the game is that we wanted to, uh, we thought that we could uh, create turnovers on uh, the short side of the field. And offensively, we just needed to uh, take advantage of those situations, which I thought we did. Uh, we rushed the ball for 62 times, a buck 56. It's still not good enough. The penalties were ridiculous. We need to get that done. Um, but I'm happy with uh, how we took care of the ball, minusing uh, special teams. I thought special teams wise was uh, hands down uh, not where we want, uh, not what we expect around here. But uh, offensively, we took we uh, took care of the ball, had the ball on the short end of the field the majority of the day. Defensively, I thought they played outstanding. So um, we played complimentary football. It was ugly, but we were able to get a win. And uh, the people that I'm most ecstatic for is those seniors that will never play another game on Saturday in the Doit. I thought uh, we made an emphasis to make sure that, uh, that we were going to be fully committed to make sure that those kids went out victorious, and they did. And so. Uh, that's probably the highlight of the day is them being able to walk out of here winners. It was early, but those two red zone stops in the first quarter to hold two field goals. Mm -hmm. How much did that help set the tone for the way you guys? Yeah, I, I thought the, we kept them out of the end zone. Um, they, uh, I thought defensively we did a really good job being able to hold them to those two uh, field goals in the red area. And um, the difference was is that when we got those short ends of the fields, we were able to score touchdowns. They, they kicked field goals. So it was, uh, it was ugly, but uh, we, uh, we expected it to be this type of game. We talked about a lot of times this year not taking advantage of opportunities. When you do get those three deep in the territory, touchdown, 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 do you see that as a step in the right direction? Absolutely. Um, we've, we've had a hard time scoring um, consistently. So uh, to be able to um, have a little success, that's definitely a step in the right direction. A few days ago, we were talking about finding positives to, uh, to kind of balance things out with that mind, you know, in that area with the wind here. Uh, mentally, it's got to be really Yeah, it's great. Uh, Any time that um, you're able to, uh, to find a way to get a win, winning is hard. I mean, even whenever you're, you're right, it's hard. And uh, so anytime that you get one, uh, you're ecstatic afterwards, but we'll uh, just like we always do, we'll get 24 hours to enjoy it and then uh, back to the grind and get ready for Miami of Ohio. What were your thoughts on Andrew's performance today? Monday? He's beat up. Um, he's uh, He's been beat up all year long. This uh, this foot deal is, uh, is a problem. And um, I thought, uh, you know, I, I think we gave it to him 30 times, 29 times, and uh, he, d he was limping, um, and uh, it's been a struggle to keep him healthy this year. So we'll see where we go in the next couple of weeks with him. The jump pass, I seem to recall someone else doing that. You borrowed from uh, Urban a little bit. Yeah, we did. Yep, we sure did. Uh, Tim was pretty good at that. Yeah, he was. Did you put that in this week, or has that been? That's been in for the last uh, two weeks, and we finally got the opportunity to run it. So it was cool. Grant was fired up. <laughs> was there some hesitation? Because I saw you going down the sideline. Almost like, would you maybe call a timeout there? Was there a certain look you need to play? Yeah, that we were worried that the post, the safety was going to be in the middle of the field. And right before the snap, uh, he went over. And they played zero coverage. And we got the look. But it was almost a timeout. Yeah. So if we, if we didn't get the look, we were going to get out of it. And we didn't have a kill on it. So I was going to call a timeout. We didn't have an automatic to get out of it. So. But it was cool. I was happy for Q. I was happy. For, I mean, those kids love that stuff. So it was fun. You good? Uh, there were quite a few guys beaten up today. Just to be in the roster in the shape it is right now and to still win a football game. Well, how do you take that? You know what? I feel, uh, I feel bad for both sides right now. Uh, and what I mean by that is both our opponent and ourselves. Uh, they're in the same situation that we're in. Um, Hopefully that in the next uh, couple months they change the rules where we can uh, obtain more uh, initials to, uh, to make their program better and our program better. 
and uh, we're we're so depleted with numbers right now. They are too, and um, you know, hopefully in the near future that those rules change, and we can uh, upgrade and because um, it's just not right for the it's not right for the safety of the players. I mean, I, I don't care what they say, it is not right. I, I totally 100% disagree with with these uh, 25 initials for a place that uh, has number troubles. And all of a sudden, you're playing your st I mean, Jack Kramer's still in the game uh, with two minutes left to go in the game. Like, what are we doing? I mean, that's not right. And uh, I just think for player safety, it needs to change. And I hope here in the near future that uh, we are able to pass those rules and uh, help programs that, uh, that need numbers. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Um, we can get our numbers right here in the next three or four years if they keep the rules the same way. But uh, for player safety, they need to change it. So I hope that that occurs here soon. Yeah, the, what was cool today um, is uh, they had a couple sudden change situations that they haven't been good at at all during the season. And, uh, you know, we uh, gave the ball back uh, with the muff um, snap on the uh, punt, and uh, they were able to get a stop right off the get go. So that was impossible. I mean, baby steps. You know, baby steps is what we're doing right now. And um, so there were some positives for sure. Who impressed you most? Excuse me? Who impressed you most today on the defense? Um, I thought Carl Brooks played well. I thought he played well. Um, he was impressive. Uh, he didn't have a, a, a beginning. At the beginning of the week, he did not have a good Tuesday. And he really bounced back on Wednesday and Thursday. He played well. Um, so yeah, I thought Carl Brooks really played really well. It was fun to watch him out there today. Talk just a minute about the, the offense coach. You mentioned the fact he got some short fields that helped you out. But what do you attribute some of the struggles today? It seemed like Brad missed a few over receivers from the time. Yeah, the, uh, the weather wasn't great, but that's not an excuse. And um, we, we missed some gimmies. And uh, we, didn't, we need to continue to, when those opportunities present themselves, make it. And, you know, my big preaching right now is, um, you know, you're 50-50 in practice. Those are gonna, you're gonna be 50-50 in the game. You know, so the ability to uh, have competitive excellence during the week is so critical to improve. Because whenever you get in games that are super, super competitive, it's equal. Um, you got to fall back to your training. You got to fall back to what you're doing year in, year in, year out, day in, day out. You got to fall back into it, and you make those plays in practice consistently. You make them on Saturday. So. Uh, we need to we need to practice better. Is the moral of the story? We need to practice better, and uh, we made some uh, huge jumps. I thought there was uh, on Wednesday in particular. Uh, I thought there was two or three of our offensive linemen uh, that kind of got it. They uh, uh, during the 46 competitive reps that we had, I want to say they played their tails off for the first time in practice. So that was very very encouraging, and now. The, you know, the, the biggest thing is trying to get all 85 or 90 guys, whatever we have on our team, to, to, to practice like that. That's when you get good, is whenever you're practicing at that type of um, tempo and mentality. So we, we, need to, we need to get better in that area. It's the biggest uh, challenge in our program right now. You expressed some frustration with how things played out before the end of the half last week. How do you feel about the thoughts of how it played out this week? Well, it was a different deal. Uh, our defense was playing well. Um, their offense was not playing well. So we, uh, we came out, we threw a, a smash play. Uh, we threw low and away, and then we came back to a double move. They were in quarters coverage. He made a good throw away. And then uh, we ran the cue counter to try to get out of dodge. But um, um, this week, I have no problem trying to go score just because of we're not, we weren't putting our defense in a, in a bad situation. Uh, we're playing a different, different offense. Those cats last week were different. They were pretty good. And uh, um, so, yeah, it's week to week.